Today's video is brought to you by WinX HD Video Converter Deluxe, the all-in-one editing and processing tool for PC and Mac, making it super easy to edit and convert HD and 4K video shot on your favorite devices like GoPros, DSLR, iPhones, and Android devices. It compresses super fast to some of the most popular formats like MP4, MP3 for playback on your iPhone and iPad and Android devices. Click the links in the description down below to enter their giveaway for your chance to win the free license code and many other prizes. Hey guys, what? Welcome back to the channel and today I want to share with you guys my follow-up thoughts on iOS 13 beta 2. I've had the software installed on my primary device the iPhone 10R for a couple days now after Apple released it. I want to talk about battery performance, any bugs, all the bugs that you guys have been submitting, all the bugs that you guys have been talking about in the comments of my videos. I'm going to talk about that as well but if you want a deeper dive on iOS 13, on other devices like the iPhone SE, I have a 24-hour challenge on the SE where I take a deeper dive. Links will be in the description down below for that. I also did the iPhone 6S or 6S Plus. So if you want a deeper dive and understanding of iOS 13 and how everything is running, again, links will be in the description down below for that video as well. I'll continue testing other devices, but as of right now, these are the three devices that I'm currently testing, the SE, the 6S Plus, and the iPhone 10. Are. So let's get to some of the latest information in regards to the latest beta. iOS 13 is sitting in beta 2. One of the biggest complaints as of right now is app compatibility. I hear a lot of you guys, I read your comments, I see that a lot of you guys have a ton of applications on your device and when you update it to either iOS 13 public beta, which by the way was released a few days ago, if you want to install that, links will be in the description, completely up to you. But a lot of you guys are reporting that a lot of app compatibility issues are occurring on the latest iOS 13 beta. And this is to be expected. Keep in mind, iOS 13 is still sitting in beta 2. This software is nowhere near complete. There's still a ton of bugs and a ton of issues I've been having with the software, which we'll get to. But keep in mind that developers need to update their applications before you're capable of running them on your device properly. So if you're having crashes, if you're having issues with iOS 13 public beta or developer beta running any application on your device, unfortunately, you either have to wait for developers to update their applications and submit the issues yourself, or you can downgrade back to iOS 12, which I'll have that video in the description down below as well. Now, there's other issues that I've come across with iOS 13 beta 2, and I'm sure you guys have noticed because I've read it on the comments of my videos, Wi-Fi and cell connection issues are a big issue. On the newer devices, once again, I can't believe we're going back to this again. So as I'm downloading something, as I'm browsing the web, as I'm trying to connect to the cloud, right there, see, Wi-Fi, just, just as I was talking about it, Wi-Fi comes and goes as it pleases. You just saw that in real time. I don't know why that happens. It connects and disconnects from Wi-Fi, LTE issues continue to occur, Wi-Fi issues continue to occur. I want you guys to pay attention to the Wi-Fi connection. As I'm filming the video, you'll see that the Wi-Fi just disconnects on its own. I'm not sure what's going on there, but definitely still in beta. Hopefully Apple will fix this and polish this, but that's a big issue that I've been having every time I go to download something from the cloud. Every time I'm watching a video, I see this flickering back and forth. Definitely, definitely an issue there as well. So something to keep in mind if you're looking to update. Now, I also want to talk about the battery. Of course, the battery is important to everyone. We all want a full day of battery life on our iPhones, and I can't complain with iOS 13 beta 2. Keep in mind, once again, I can't stress this enough. This is beta 2. There's a ton of improvements to come. Stability, bug fixes, therefore improving the battery but I still manage to get anywhere from seven and a half to eight and a half to sometimes even nine hours of battery life on one single charge from iOS 13 beta 2. And I'm a heavy user. I do a lot of texting, a lot of FaceTiming, and I still manage to get through the entire day with one single charge on the iPhone 10R. Now, battery is very good on the iPhone 10s, 10s Max. I also did a test on the SE. Again, links will be in the description for that video, as well as the 6S Plus when I use them both for 24 hours straight. So you can check that out in the description. Now, I see a lot of guys also talking about the battery capacity capacity has dropped a point or two when updating to iOS 13, either public beta or developer beta from iOS 12. I wouldn't worry too much about this number if it's a point or two drop because again, this is still beta software. Now, when it comes to bugs and crashes, I've had my fair share of bugs and issues with iOS 13, starting with the email application crashing, 
Email's not loading. Attachment's not loading. In the Photos application, if I go to edit an image, in some cases I would try to edit a photo and it would go back to its normal state when I click done, just like that. So it would not edit properly. Video will not edit properly. Using one of these little dongles for SIM cards to import digital photos and videos to the iOS device will show no photos, no videos, no images, nothing. So that's also been submitted. By the way, if you have any issues or any problems on your device, you can either screen record it or screenshot it and submit it through the feedback application to Apple. This is how Apple gets to know what are some of the problems in iOS 13. So you can do that. You can submit that yourself. Rather, you're a public beta tester or a developer. If you have a personal issue that you want Apple to fix, that is how you do it. Again, you can screenshot your screen from the issue or screen capture with the screen recording option built into the control center there if you want Apple to see what are some of your personal issues. And this has been my quick follow a video on iOS 13. Yes, there's still a lot of bugs, app compatibility issues and crashes, but that is to be expected. Hopefully we'll see iOS 13 with a lot of improvements and additional features. Of course, I'll be covering that here on the channel. Be sure to stay tuned for the follow up on that. Thank you for watching today's video guys, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.